In this video, we're going to cover how to get Pirate Legend fast using the three core trading companies of Sea of Thieves. The companies in question are Gold Hoarders, Order of Souls, and the Merchant Alliance. If you're new here, why not subscribe for more Sea of Thieves content? And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like. In order to reach Pirate Legend, you need to reach level 50 in three trading companies, after which you can then claim the Shanty of Legends from the mysterious stranger in the tavern. While this isn't the fastest way, it should still be good enough for you to enjoy your journey to pirate legend whilst getting it done quick enough so that you can enjoy the rest of what sea of thieves has to offer Starting off, as soon as you spawn in, you're going to want to raise the Gold Hoarder Emissary. If you don't have this unlocked, you will need to level up Gold Hoarders to level 15 for attempting this method. Once the flag has been raised, you will need to head over to your boat and vote to dive on a quest. The object of this method is to reach grade 5 as fast as possible. I found two ways of doing this effectively. Select Voyages, Gold Hoarders, and Raid Voyages. You could either choose a Battle with the Burning Blades Armada, which will see you take on waves of ghostly ships or duel with an ashen lord which will see you fight an Ashen Lord. If you choose to go with the Ghost Fleet, you will need to make sure that you kill all of the sub bosses first before you take out Flameheart to get the maximum emissary grade. Normal ships will take three cannonballs, firebombs, or blunder bombs to kill. The sub bosses take 10, and Flameheart ship will take 20. You can tell which ship is the final boss as it has red sails. This event takes longer, but gives better rewards and emissary grade much quicker. If you choose to duel with an Ashen Lord, you will need to complete a lot more of these events to get to grade 5. So, what I like to do is on the island that you spawn at, check for skeleton captains and message in a bottle, as these can lead to some incredible gold hoarder loot, meaning emissary grade quicker. This is a super quick event to finish, so you can keep cycling these events to get to grade 5. If you don't reach grade 5 in your first run, make sure you sell your loot in between diving, or you will lose everything. When you dive, you do keep your emissary flag, so do not lower this. If you spot shipwrecks, these are also now incredible sources of gold hoarder loot and can actually contain the best loot in the game. So make sure to keep an eye out for birds in the sky, and if there is a shipwreck, you are in with the money. After you reach grade 5, what you're going to want to do is sell everything you currently have and go to your quest table. Select Voyages, Gold Hoarders, and Buried Treasure. Scroll down until you see an Ashen Pirate's Treasure Map. Select this voyage and it will take you to the Devil's Rule. From where you spawn at, sail right to Morrow's Peak and go to the Gold Hoarder Tent. Claim your Emissary Voyage. You must claim it from here, otherwise this will not work. Doing this will give you multiple treasure maps which will lead to islands very close to Morrow's Peak. These digs will give you all of the new loot for the Gold Hoarders and the Ashen variants, which is incredible for reputation. After digging up all of the chests, travel back to Morrow's Peak to sell everything. Make sure you lower your Gold Hoarder flag so you can now repeat the method. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and raise the Order of Souls Emissary flag. If you do not have this unlocked yet, you will need to reach level 15 in the Order of Souls before attempting this method. You're then going to want to go ahead and purchase a storage crate from the Merchant Alliance. This will give you a little bit of Emissary reputation to get to grade 5 quicker. There are two main ways to level up the Order of Souls. The first one is easier to complete solo, and the second one is actually quicker with a slightly larger crew. Obviously, you can do both to add variation to your sessions as they aren't that different in how much reputation you will earn. Board your ship and visit the quest table. You're going to want to go to Voyages, Order of Souls, Raid Voyages, and for our first method, you're going to want to select a raid on a skeleton fort. Once you dive, you will spawn just off the coast of an active skeleton fort containing loot to level up the Order of Souls, including the 10,000 gold variant of the Eye of Souls. To park at the fort, you are just going to want to sail straight and not worry too much about the cannon fire. Once you get close enough, these skeletons will despawn. The best loadout for completing this event super quick is a pistol and sword, and when you get to the main boss, switch to a blunderbuss, and maybe use a keg or two. Once complete, 
grab everything from the vault and place in a position where you can harpoon everything onto your boat. This takes two events to reach grade 5 emissary, so head over to an outpost and sell everything and then dive once more. The second quest, which is the fastest, only by a little, is a raid on a skeleton fleet. Once you emerge above the waves, you will instantly be next to a skeleton ship. In order to finish the whole event quickly as a solo, I do a couple of neat tricks which make this event so, so easy. I constantly throw firebombs on the top deck of ships, preventing them from using cannons. I turn the wheel slightly in one direction and raise the sails to half. This messes with the AI of the skeleton ship and makes them sail so you can fire at them, but often they can't even hit you. And I constantly will shoot at the base of the ship. This is especially important on galleons to generate lower holes that you can protect by hitting around the same place over and over again. Make sure to stop at every ship you sink, which is marked by birds in the sky, to gather their skulls and storage crates, as these all contribute to your emissary grade and reputation. On your first round, you will reach around grade 4 after finishing the event, travel to an outpost, sell everything, and once done, dive for the voyage again. After you complete the event for a second time, you will reach grade 5. Each time you complete the event, you will receive a all-seeing eye of souls. This item alone with a grade 5 emissary flag will net you 37,500 gold and a lot of reputation. You can also shoot out to islands along the way to check for skeleton captains and shipwrecks which contain some of the best loot in the game and this is the same for order of souls if you're struggling with the events at all and doing them quickly make sure to join my discord server filled with nearly 1500 people both new and old players ready to jump on the sea of thieves and help you rank up order of souls very quickly starting off as soon as you spawn in you're going to want to raise the merchant emissary if you don't have this unlocked, you'll need to level up Merchant Alliance to level 15 before attempting this method. Once the flag has been raised, you will need to purchase some resources. Make sure to get everything apart from fireworks, wood crates, cannibal crates, fruit crates and storage crates, as well as the bait crate. Once you load this on your ship, you should already be nearly halfway through to grade 2 of your emissary level. At this point, you're going to want to dive for a quest. Go to the Voyages section, Merchant Alliance, Lost Shipment, and select the Ashen Executive Lost Shipment. This particular voyage only has two routes, each with very short sail time and predictable spawn locations. When you surface from your dive, you will spawn right in front of the first clue on the journey. Keep an eye out for any blue glints in the water. These can be either clue bottles or captain's keys, which is what we are looking for. If you get neither of these items, look for the merchant barrel and still grab the clue as any progress on the quest gives you a lot of emissary rep on your way to grade 5. On your journey, stick as close to the path as possible. If you get the key, sail straight to the shipwreck and ignore all of the clues you get. The shipwreck will always spawn around Morrow's Peak Outpost and if you get a clue for an island that is close on your journey and you do not yet have the key, what I like to do is raise my sails to slow down the ship in case I need to turn around and shoot out of a cannon and check the island. In the example you're seeing in this video, you can see I got it on the first island I checked after the initial clue. So once I picked up the key, I sail straight for the shipwreck. When you reach the shipwreck, grab everything, including kegs, as we are less than a square away from the turning point. Head over to the Sovereigns if you're on a captain ship to turn in. If not, dock up at the merchants. Sell everything you gathered, but don't lower the emissary. Next, you're going to want to dive for another quest. Go to Voyages, Merchant Alliance, Raid Voyages, and select Duel with an Ashen Lord. This will take us to a Ashen Winds event already with a Grade 5 Merchant Flag up. This is the quickest world event to complete for all crew sizes and just by using a blunderbuss and consistently reloading you'll have taken down the boss in no time. Once complete you will be rewarded with a scroll of chartered waters as well as some other high tier merchant loot. This will also progress one of the new commendations for selling these items on top of providing a huge amount of levels in your merchant reputation. Head over to the closest outpost and sell everything once again. This time we want to lower the emissary flag. This doesn't provide the greatest amount of gold However, it does give you plenty of reputation in the Merchant Alliance. Re-raise the Emissary flag and you are good to repeat this process over and over again. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. And if you're looking for more Sea of Thieves content, there is a video on your screen right now.